Discover the fascinating secrets of the male reproductive system and learn how the body produces, stores, and transports sperm. If you enjoyed this journey through the female reproductive system, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing anatomy videos. The male reproductive system consists of organs that produce, store, and transport sperm while facilitating reproduction. The external genitalia of males include the penis and scrotum, which protect and house the reproductive organs. The penis contains specialized erectile tissues and a urethra, enabling reproduction and urination. The scrotum houses the testes, keeping them protected and at optimal temperature for sperm production. The testes contain seminiferous tubules, where spermatogenesis, the production of sperm, begins. Spermatogonia are stem cells in the testes that divide repeatedly to initiate the production of sperm. Primary spermatocytes are cells that will undergo meiosis to form sperm, carrying half of the father's genetic material. Secondary spermatocytes are the result of meiosis I and will divide again in meiosis II to form spermatids. Spermatids are immature sperm cells that will undergo maturation, developing tails and heads to become functional sperm. Sertoli cells support spermatids as they mature, transforming into fully functional sperm ready for transport. Leydig cells in the testes produce testosterone, the hormone responsible for male secondary sexual characteristics and sperm production. The epididymis is a coiled duct where sperm mature and are stored until ejaculation. The vas deferens is a muscular tube that transports sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct during ejaculation. The seminal vesicles produce seminal fluid, which nourishes and helps transport sperm during ejaculation. The prostate gland produces prostatic fluid, which nourishes sperm and helps form semen during ejaculation. The ejaculatory duct carries sperm and seminal fluid from the seminal vesicles and prostate into the urethra, preparing for ejaculation. The urethra serves as the final passageway for semen, transporting it out of the body during ejaculation. Semen is a mixture of sperm and fluids from the testes, seminal vesicles, and prostate, providing nutrients and support for sperm. During ejaculation, sperm and seminal fluid are propelled through the vas deferens, ejaculatory duct, and urethra, completing the reproductive process. The hypothalamus and pituitary gland regulate sperm production and testosterone secretion through precise hormonal signaling. Testosterone and other hormones regulate themselves through feedback mechanisms, maintaining stable reproductive function. The spermatogenesis cycle transforms stem cells into mature sperm ready for ejaculation in a continuous and regulated process. This overview highlights the male reproductive system, showing how each organ contributes to sperm production, maturation, and transport. Male fertility depends on sperm quantity, quality, motility, and proper hormonal balance. Lifestyle choices and environmental exposures can significantly impact sperm quality and male reproductive health. Male fertility gradually declines with age due to reduced sperm production and lower testosterone levels. Common male reproductive disorders can affect sperm production, hormone levels, and overall fertility. Varicocele, a dilation of veins in the scrotum, can impair sperm production and reduce male fertility. Erectile dysfunction occurs when blood flow to the penis is insufferent, affecting sexual performance. Low testosterone can affect sperm production, muscle mass, and secondary sexual characteristics in males. Hormonal therapy can restore testosterone levels, improving reproductive function and overall male health. Testicular cancer affects the testes and can impact fertility if not detected and treated early. Regular self-examination helps detect testicular abnormalities early, improving chances of successful treatment. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including diet, exercise, and regular checkups, supports optimal male reproductive health. This recap shows the male reproductive system in action, highlighting each organ's role in sperm production and transport.
GnRH, LH, FSH, and testosterone work together to regulate sperm production and maintain male reproductive health. Sperm travel from the testes through the reproductive tract, gaining motility and preparing to reach the egg for fertilization. During ejaculation, sperm and seminal fluids travel through the male reproductive tract in a coordinated process. The epididymis stores sperm and allows them to mature, gaining motility and the ability to fertilize an egg. The vas deferens transports sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory ducts through coordinated muscular contractions. The seminal vesicles and prostate add fluids that nourish sperm and facilitate their transport during ejaculation. The urethra and ejaculatory ducts transport semen efficiently during ejaculation, ensuring sperm reach the female reproductive tract. Sperm undergo capacitation in the female reproductive tract enhancing their ability to fertilize an egg successfully. Fertilization occurs when a sperm penetrates the egg, forming a zygote, the first step in developing a new human life. After fertilization, the zygote divides repeatedly, forming an early embryo that will continue developing into a fetus. The blastocyst implants into the uterine lining, establishing the foundation for embryo growth and pregnancy. The placenta forms connections with maternal blood vessels, providing nutrients and oxygen to support the developing embryo. Umbilical cord develops, connecting the fetus to the placenta, enabling nutrient and oxygen exchange essential for growth. Inside the uterus, the fetus grows rapidly, developing organs, limbs, and features essential for life outside the womb. Before birth, the fetus turns into the head-down position optimizing its alignment for delivery. Amniotic fluid cushions the fetus, protecting it from shocks and allowing smooth movement inside the womb. Fetal circulation directs oxygenated blood from the placenta through specialized shunts, ensuring vital organs receive adequate oxygen before birth. Pregnancy hormones regulate the uterus and placenta, supporting fetal growth and maintaining a stable environment for development. During pregnancy, a mother's body adapts with increased blood volume, a growing uterus, and changes in the cardiovascular. During labor, the uterus contracts rhythmically to push the fetus through the birth canal, initiating the process of childbirth. During labor, the cervix dilates and thins, allowing the fetus to pass safely through the birth canal. As labor progresses, the fetus descends through the birth canal and the head begins to crown, signaling imminent delivery. The baby is delivered through the birth canal, marking the completion of labor and the start of life outside the womb. After the baby is born, the placenta is delivered and the uterus begins to contract, initiating postpartum recovery.